and there's a big grizzly. Take a shot at him, Mr. Gill. I guess I will, General. I thought you were okay. I can't say I was very enthusiastic about pulling the trigger. They sure can't kill him at that distance. And I sure don't look forward to going after no wounded grizzly. California. Uh, no, only bruised it. But did it get him? Uh, you hit him all right. Ah, uh, only wounded him. Huh? Well, got to go after him. Can't leave him so far. California, you keep an eye on Mr. Keel. I'll track him. And you stay put. You've done enough for one day. I'll circle around that way and try and drive him back toward you. Ah, oh, and here I was thinking you were trying to grab all the pleasure for yourself. General? We've snuck in pretty close to Blackfoot country. It's right over the ridge on her. You don't suppose they heard that shot, do you? Well, I can't be sure. But I'll keep my eyes open for them, and you keep your eye on me. Throw me me rifle, would you, General? Yeah, I'll get it. Hey, you back in you, California. he had been the youngest general in the Civil War. Within five years, he had been reduced in rank and sent west to be forgotten. But he was not the kind of man to let the world forget. His name, George Armstrong Custer. for that Blackfoot war party. Anyhow, it'd take the whole regiment two weeks to dig out that pile of rocks. Then I'll come back with the regiment. Well, we'll see what General Perry says about it. 
I'll come back and I'll find him. Nick, we better start making some tracks out of here. our prisoner. Sue and the Blackfoot are enemies again. It'd be mighty inconvenient if all you fellows ever got together. There's not much danger in that, though, is there? How'd they get you? You are a fool. Am I? You could have counted on them to do it for you. Do what? Remove my spirit. Kill you? That's not why I'm here, Crazy Horse. Then why? I want you alive. You're the most important hostage I could have. And you're going to be my passport through Sioux country back to Fort Hayes. You are still a fool. Maybe. How'd they get you? These feeble old women and children. man if you are a man what do they call you pale shadow empty spirit fearless dove is your name among those tell me 
Is it your custom to have prisoners guarded by women? Careful. Do not speak to them harshly. Or they will run weeping to their mothers. Or beg their elders to protect them. We are men. We need help from no one. We have killed bluecoats by the hundreds. Where? In the safety and comfort of your lodges? I could crush the both of you with my two fingers. And make you scream with pain like unweaned children. Then do it. My hands are tied. Is it to keep you from twisting off your nose? Watch your mouth. Oh, there's no reason to be afraid. Afraid? Me? I'd never dream of hurting a woman. I am a man. So you say. So you say. But while the men who have been on the warpath for many days sleep in their lodges, the women and children are allowed to play at being braves. You don't think I could kill you? I think you could aim that rifle at my head and shoot off your foot. Oh, no. Good enough to cut my other hand free. Oh, fellow, now they will dress him like a squaw. I came back to make you my prisoner. You don't hear me complaining. You'll expect to charge any minute. All right. Let's make a run for it together.
So you thought you'd take the regiment back up there on maneuvers, did you? And then, as long as you happen to be in the area, you might try to recover his body. Well, isn't that what you had in mind? Well, yes, sir. I feel I owe him at least a proper burial. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Well, because I didn't think you'd let me, sir. You thought correctly. For all of his faults, which were legion, I'm just as sorry to lose Custer as you are. Maybe more so. There were hundreds of times when I wished him in Hades. But there never was a time when I didn't respect him as a fighting man. But you won't let me look for him, will you? And maybe, or just maybe, if he were still alive, I'd let you go look for him. But to take a risk of that magnitude merely for the sake of a proper burial... Is it really such a risk, sir? That canyon is right on the edge of Blackfoot country. Here. It's right here. There. Our little hunting party is one thing. But to get that close to their land in full regimental strength, what might not only be an invitation to open warfare, but might also have the highly undesirable side effect of uniting two deadly enemies, the Sioux and the Blackfeet. And you wouldn't take a chance like that for Custer? I wouldn't take that kind of a risk for any man alive, with the possible exception of Custer, if he were still alive. But, sir, dismissed. Yes, sir. Well, too risky. Might start a war. Might stop the Blackfoot and the Sioux fighting each other and gang up on us. You know he's right. Well, maybe you're willing to take his no for an answer, but I'm not. I think he means it. Well, are you well enough to move on? Where? I thought I mentioned it last night. I'm taking you in with me. I will not be your captive. You will be mine. Well, I'd say that's open for debate. Wouldn't you? I do not fight with words. I know you don't. But until we're out of Blackfoot country, defend yourself. to draw what's that that means no winner and no loser 
And who is, who is prisoner? And who is master? Neither one. Until we get out of the Blackfoot country, we stick together. Why together? We stand a better chance together than alone. You know that as well as I. Until we cross the Rosebud River, we help each other? To the best of our abilities. And after we get across, we return to the more comfortable state of being mortal enemies. I accept that. I will try it. the country. You lead the way. Well, he's letting us go on patrol tomorrow around the Rosebud. Well, it's about time. You know, some of them Sioux's been a poking around down there a whole lot lately. Like they lost something. Crazy horses, people. You know, that's a funny thing. I just can't rightly figure it out. Crazy Horse is a lot smarter than to go fiddling around that close to home unless he's got an awful good reason. Oh, you know, well, it'd not be them I'd be interested in. They're no threat to us at the moment, only a nuisance. Oh, then what are we going down there for? Well, I got a feeling. Now, it's just a feeling, mind you, that the general would not be too surprised if we sort of got uh, lost and took a good look at that canyon where we left Custer. I thought General Terry told you that he didn't want you going near that place. Only with the regiment. By his orders, as far as I can tell, did not include a puny, inoffensive little patrol of 10 or 12 men. You know what? You're fixing to get you and me in a whole pack of trouble, that's what. Well, if the prospect of that frightened you, I'd not be wanting you to come along if you'd not want to go. Who said I didn't want to go anyhow? You're like a cavalry trooper, Crazy Horse. Accustomed to getting blisters everywhere but on his feet. A Sioux warrior does not walk on the ground like a squaw. I stole my first horse from a fur trader when I was 10 summers old. I wish you hadn't lost a knack. You could do with a couple ponies right now. Not to mention something to eat. Eat? No thanks. White men eat raw oysters, cook frogs, but grow pale about eating worms. You have strange ways, yellow hair. From your point of view, I agree. But on the other hand... Uh... <laughs>
that claim this land, Yellow Hair. Tell him about the white man's might. Tell him how you will conquer his land. Go on, Yellow Hair. Tell him about the white man's ways. Thanks for your help. that scalp back at Fort Hayes. <laughs> His scalp, not a plugged nickel. Now you shut your mouth, Indian lover. We ain't about to let you live any longer than him. Find much gold along here? Ain't complaining. The cavalry's been scouting this area for some time. How'd they happen to miss you? You a horse soldier, ain't you? That's right. How brave as you are! What are you doing with a redskin for a partner? I'm Colonel Custer of the 7th Cavalry. Custer? That's right, and this man's my prisoner. And in case you're not aware of it, if you're caught panning for gold in this river, it'll cost you 20 years. Well, I'll tell you something, Mr. Custer. Have we caught any place at all? We ain't gonna get nothing but a rope. Killing two more ain't gonna cause us to get any closer to the hemp neck tie than we've been all along. Let's get it over with then. The cavalry's not all you've got to worry about. There's a party of Blackfeet has been chasing us for two days. They're not far behind. Well, now, thank you, Mr. Custer, for the warning. We'll be moving along then, right after we square you two. <laughs> Taking no scalps until the time comes to take yours. <laughs> How many men have died for this yellow dust? did not try to stop me. I thought any white man held gold higher than honor, higher than life itself. But wrong. He must want you very badly. Yes. Do to them. Whatever it is a man does to his enemies. And us? What makes us enemies? The colors of our skin? Yours is hardly darker than mine. You have said enough. I'm beginning to understand that story about you. What story? It's probably just a rumor, but since you asked, it's been suggested that you were born of white parents. Yellow hair, don't you ever say such a thing to me again. What do you suggest? We lay low or keep moving? Keep moving until we cross that river and we can be enemies again. Oh, la la, Sue. 
told you they's a poking around where they didn't have no business. What are they doing in these parts? The Blackfeet catch them, they'll be roasted on a slow fire. They're looking for tracks, just like they'd lost somebody. You don't suppose... No, no. What? They're looking for Custer. No, no, the general's dead. And yet he just might, by some wondrous turn of fate. Nah, no, forget it. The general's dead. Arsenic. What? A deadly poison. Poison in some mineral up in the spring. If you drink that, you die. You speak the truth. For you. But my people have learned to drink bitter water. The white man made it necessary. It's remarkable what the human body can get used to. Not all things. Not slavery. I fought against slavery, Crazy Horse. During your civil war? And now you fight for it? You're wrong. We don't want to enslave your people. You know that. I have heard those same words spoken by your Indian commissioners. And they've lied. They tried to take from us everything that we have known and try to make us over in the image of themselves. Is your way of life so fine, so great, that no other should exist? If I were a philosopher, I might have an answer for you, crazy horse. But I haven't. But this I do know. Our country will be great someday, but only if it has a chance to grow. Time always brings changes. No people can stand still without progress. They die, as many ancient civilizations have died before us. You may speak truth, yellow hair, but it does not make the love of our people for their way of life any lesser. You really do not understand us. You cannot see the beauty we see. 
You cannot feel the emotions we have. But we are all human. And we can learn to live together in peace. <laughs> As the white men live together in peace, not many years ago you fought a war against the Mexicans. Then another. The greatest of all wars against your own people. When the white men can live together in peace, then you can come to us and ask that we join in that peace. Every nation must earn the right to exist. Since nothing is ever given, it must be taken. As you try to take the lands of the Sioux? And how did the Oglala Sioux get these lands? Were they given to them through the workings of some great medicine? No. The Oglala came from the east, up in Minnesota. At a time your old men still remember. With war lance and bow, they drove out the people who were here before them. The Arikara, Crow, Cree, Ponca, even the mighty Cheyenne bowed to the great force of the Sioux Nation. And now it's the turn of the Sioux to feel the might of a stronger people. And if they choose to resist through means of war, they'll be destroyed. We'll be making copper tonight. Tomorrow morning we can be scouting. General was right after all. We've come a bit close. I'm thinking we'd best be moving out. This is the river you call the Rosebud. Once we are on the other side, the Blackfoot will not dare to follow. Then we are free to be enemies again. Yes, I know. Like you take this round. I do not wish to kill you now. You have more value alive. That's the finest compliment I've had all day. Wait. You are capo.
What's on tap for tomorrow, Captain? We gonna look for the Colonel's body? Nope. The General was right all along. All we've done is stir up a hornet's nest to no good purpose whatsoever. And tomorrow? Back to Fort Hayes. You're giving up. I'm facing facts, man. Should have given up days ago. If I had been a Sioux or a Blackfoot, this lesson would be quite wasted on you. Never let me catch you falling asleep on guard duty again. Yes, sir. Now pick up that weapon and look sharp. Yes, sir. Give me some boots, a pistol, and a horse. Yes. Move. Trooper Reel, what are you doing away from your post? Well, sir, I'm standing guard duty over there and just... Well, speak up, man. Well, this is Colonel Custis, sir. I'm going to get him some gear. Sure. ghost should be. It is a shabby looking one you are. Is it you then? Well, what happened to you, General? Save the questions, Mr. Keogh. We're moving out on the double. Yeah, but the men have been 48 hours without sleep, sir. 48 hours? Is that all? The moment I'm gone, you start pampering them. Colonel Custer. James B., have the men ready to move in two minutes. Yes, sir. Rio told me you were alive. Thought you were dead. Happy to see you back. Well, what are you waiting for, Sergeant? Get those men moving. Yes, sir. Sleep your life away, the colonel's back. Two hours ago, I was the prisoner of Crazy Horse. If we hurry, we may still be able to catch them. How many and how big a start do they have? Eight or ten men, about 20 minutes ride. Oh, no more than that. The day before, he was accompanied by only one man, me. Hey, come on, Mr. Keogh, what are you waiting for? Welcome back, General. We may never have another chance to catch crazy on us. Hey, General, would you mind telling me what's going on around here? No, 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 we. You fight them on foot. Enough, Bob. Enough. the advantage of close combat. Please show them, lads. Charge!
Any prisoners? No prisoners, General. You better tend to the wounded. Aye, sir. You're looking for Crazy Horse, sir. I'm afraid he got away. I understand you spent some time with him. What's he like? What's he like? Impossible. General? Yes. Surprised? No. He always manages to slip away. All right. You'll be meeting again. I'm sure of that. All right, and then you'll know more about the way his mind works and all. That's true. And vice versa. Mm -hmm. 